put the stripper pole right here. People in the store, they can see, but they got to move in to get a better look. Give it to me, then. What the hell is going on in here? They hang out, buy a couple snacks, a couple of beers. Una vaina, yeah. Yo, we could put the Trojan condom display right next to the ATM. Genius. Come on. Oh you see that? I know what I'm talking about. It could be right there, right? And every time they go, who the hell is this guy? Yo, what the hell is going on here, man? There's no more stopping Fritz, man. You already stopped, man. Bodega is clear, repeat. Bodega is clear. Initiate Renegade Coco Rico. Run. Coco Rico? What the fuck? Hey there, gentlemen. You mind if I pick up a few things? Right back. Bro, was that... Was that Obama? Ah, here it is. This is the good stuff. Let's see. Oh. Oh. You can get that for me. That's uh, a WMD in there. No, chill out. We're going like stupid. Oh, all right. Yeah, they don't have these in DC. <laughs> Oh, I'll also take some smokes. Uh, don't tell Michelle. <laughs> How's it going? Don't tell Michelle. You boys run this place? Uh, it's our poppies. Ah, so it's a family business. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I like to hear. It's nothing more American than that. You know, uh, some not as dedicated and patriotic as yourselves might think this humble bodega dead end. You know, might think they need to you know, see the world or find themselves. Well, I can't say this on CNN, but that's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the American dream isn't somewhere else. It's right here, in a lovingly run small business built on one man's sweat and tears. You know, a man dedicated to leaving something behind for the two sons he loves more than anything else in this world. Two young men who respect their father's dream and vision. You know, two young men who are the finest example of everything great this country can be. Two young men who understand that this small bodega in a big city isn't the dying light of an old man's dream, but a giant beacon shining for all who believe in hope, honor, and the American way. I'm never leaving Poppy. Yeah, never. <laughs> Forget the stripper pole. Man. The stripper pole stays. You two are true Americans. Yo, what's up with all this commotion outside? There's like five people. Uh-uh. No. You got some nerve showing your face up in this neighborhood. If, if this is about the website, I, I can assure you we fixed it. What? What are you talking? Stop playing, fool. This fool used to date my sister, Sophia. And then this whole president thing happened, and he promised to take care of her. But no, he just dropped her like a fly. Uh, you know, I love Michelle and, and, and Sasha and, 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 well, and the other one. Uh, Daniela, tú una freak. What? That's the president of the United States. Yup. He called us true Americans, and he said he wants us to make this the best bodega we can for Poppy. And for the country. Exactly. Seriously? Y'all are the stupidest two peoples I've ever met. This is not Obama. His name is Victor Ortega. He looks like the president, so he thinks he's all that. Call Sophia, bitch, and give us some of your impersonator money. Uh... Remember, you could insure this on healthcare.gov. Well, I'll ensure I'll stay for your dick to your tie make you wear it like a scarlet letter. And I knew he was Dominican. That was crazy. It was Poppy. Poppy? So what does Poppy have to do with this? He didn't think you cared enough about that bodega, so he hired Morgan Freeman to come in here and teach you a lesson. Wait, so Papi tried to trick us so we can be better people? Damn, that was pretty good. Ah, uh, yo, so if we put the stripper pole by the ATM, we can put the DJ booth by the milk. 